Hello, Arlene. What is it and why do we need it? At the end of this, we will be able to explain the need for audits, understand what independence means in the context of an audit, define assurance services, and explain what financial reporting framework is and how it is used, as well as list and define types of attest engagements. All right, so why do we need audits? So why do we need an audit? Basically for trust, trust is going to be the main service that we're gonna have for the audit. For example, if we think about a company and who they're gonna do business with, they're gonna have transactions with, could be end users, end users like investors. Investors, if you're talking about a publicly traded company, more and more that's gonna be just normal people who are investing and they're putting their money into the company. The company wants those investments, of course. If we talk about banks, we can think about banks in terms of a company possibly could need a loan and they're gonna want the, that transaction. The bank, of course, wants to provide the loan because they're gonna make interest on that. The government, government, the company may not want